Hey guys, how's it going? Chindo here, and today I wanted to share with you how my betrayal character is going so far. I still want to do a video giving my opinion on the betrayal league, but I'll do that in a couple of days since I still want to test out this league's mechanics a bit more. And if you're looking forward to seeing that, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But going back to the topic of this video, well, I said I was going to start with a tornado shot build in one of my previous videos, and I did. But eventually I decided to create a new character, and play with the Duelist Champion build. Mainly because of the fact that I wanted to scale through the leveling stage as easily as possible, since the Champion build has always agreed sustain and damage at the same time. I decided to play with the classic and awesome skill Dual Strike, and yes, I'm aware of the nerfs that were implemented to the dual wielding playstyle. And for the people that didn't read or watch a video about the ginormous patch notes for 3.5, well, the change was the fact that now, any skill that can use dual wielding, like Double Strike, Reef, Earthquake and many more, now aren't only activated by your main hand weapon. Because before the patch, you could use a sword to activate the skill, and on your offhand, you could use a scepter to gain additional stats. But now you need two swords, which can be considered a nerf, because it's not possible, at least in this case, to use the infamous stat stick playstyle, which was OP because of the awesome stats that scepters gave you. But to be honest, the Double Strike Champion build is still really good. As you can see in the gameplay, and by the way I recorded this less than 24 hours after the leak started, and at the time this video goes live my character will be very different. This build is really amazing, due to not only its defensive power, when I'm fighting any boss I normally don't dodge any of its attacks, because I don't need to, my character can sustain the hits. And the damage numbers are insane as well. If you're able to pick up a Val double strike as early as possible, then go for it, because you will one shot everything in front of you. It's really worth spending that one alk to get this gem. So now let's talk about how I'm leveling my character. The main stats I look for in my character are physical damage, a lot of attack speed, critical chance and critical multiplier, these two only later, it's not important in the beginning. Um, elemental resistances, life, armor, and if possible, some intelligence in rings or amulets. I started using double strikes since level 1, and I used the main red gems to support it, like added fire damage, melee splash, and ruthless, and later on you want to pick up physical damage and multi-strike, which will give you a big boost in damage and attack speed. To help in boss fights, without a doubt, Ancestral Protector is my best friend, supported by damage gems to boost its DPS, it's an amazing skill that will be by my side until the end game, of course. And for movement speed, I use Leap Slam with faster attacks. You can use Whirling Blades if you prefer it over Leap Slam, but I just love the feeling of jumping over monsters, so that's why I use this skill instead of Whirling Blades. I also use the classic combination of Immortal Call with increased duration and cast when damage is taken, which is amazing and mandatory for the defensive side of this build and linked also with Val Haste to help you win the boss fights. So my character is still not in the endgame, so I still don't have 4 or 5 links, and my gem combinations aren't finished of course, and neither is my gear, so I'll probably do an update video on my, how my character ended up later on, cause I still need to change tons of things before I get a to mapping and all that stuff. Oh, and by the way, I helped Alira, of course, and my skill tree will be in the description if you guys want to check it out. To conclude this, well, I'm having tons of fun playing with this character, and I'm really interested to know what build you guys are playing, so leave that in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, then leave a like and subscribe, because it would mean a lot. That's all for today, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya!